the more that I keep my mind on God, the more that I listen to teachings about God, this life is becoming more and more clear. For instance, why are we on this earth? Are we only on this earth for our own ambitions? Getting college degrees, working two or three jobs, many hours a day just to gain Are we here just to make money, make transactions, do business? You know what they say, the American dream. Are we just on this earth for that? If you are not placing God first in your life, everything that you are doing is in vain. Some people are really crazy about, they put so much emphasis on the way that they look, what type of car they drive, how their home looks, how their yard looks. They are so crazy about appearances. Why? Why have you been placed on this earth? To get rich and famous? Hey, Kevin, you know, I want to be this movie star or a music artist. I want to get really, really famous. I want my name to be known everywhere. I want to be famous playing football, basketball, whatever type of ball, I want my name to be known. I want to have really nice things. This is the reason why I work every day and push myself so I can drive nice cars, wear nice clothes, so on and so on. Now, is having nice things a bad thing? No. But why are you on this earth? So many people place so much emphasis on things that don't pertain to God. Aren't we going to be judged based upon the things of God? Aren't we going to be judged based upon if we are following his rules and regulations? Aren't we going to be rewarded if we get to heaven based upon what we do for God and people? Of course, you are going to reap what you sow here, but your eternal rewards is going to be in heaven. You are not going to be on this earth for long. Why are you working so much? Why are you placing so much time and other things and you are wondering why your relationship with God is not where it should be at. 
you believe that you can you believe that you can only give God one day out the week for one or two hours and believe that your relationship with God your ways are going to change just giving God that one day why have you been placed on this earth your focus is off I believe this I believe the reasons the reason why there are so many jobs out there there are so many things to do I believe that we are pushed to want to get a new car to want to get a new house to want to get things for ourselves to take our focus off on what we should be doing what is your point Kevin <clears throat> okay We are placed on this earth to serve God. That is first. And once we get there, we have to tell other people in some type of way, either by your voice, internet, phone, you print things off and pass them to people, pass out Bibles, we are here to spread around the gospel to people, but we are just doing the opposite. We are trying to get or make more money and replace most of our time in that. We place most of our time in our husbands and wives and families and give God so little time. Why have you been placed on this earth? Your focus is off. You should obtain a drive more, more, and more to tell other people about God. First, get yourself right with God first. Follow his rules and regulations first. Then, begin to tell other people about God. But many people are not doing this. We are looking for self-gain, which is not bad within itself, but you are looking toward that more than the will of God. If you are lucky, or if God allows you, you are perhaps going to live on this earth until you are 80. But many people are dying in their 50s, 60s, so on and so on. So you focus on things that are not going to last. If I told you that, or I am telling you, if you plan on going to heaven, what you do on earth for God and for people are going to last with you forever. Everything you do for yourself on this earth is going to last for those 80 years. Why are you focusing more on these 80 years than for an eternity? Why aren't you focusing more 
on eternity, but you are focusing more on this life that is only going to last for you for 80 years. What if I told you I want to sell you a house? This house cost $300,000. I am going to sell you this house for $300,000. And I tell you this. But the catch is you can only live here for 10 years. Would you pay... <laughs> $300,000 for a home that you will only live in for 10 years. No, why? Because it is a waste. Now use that example for this life. God is going to reward you based upon what you do for him and for other people. So, what you will receive in heaven is going to be based upon what you are doing for Jesus Christ. I am telling you the things that you are doing on this earth is not going to last. If you plan on going to heaven, if you're planning on having much in heaven, why are you focusing on this life where you are not going to be here long? For that example, I am selling you a home for $300,000 you can only live there for 10 years. No one will accept that deal unless <laughs> they don't care about time and money. Likewise, it is foolish. Now, if you want to go to hell, that's you. But if you are planning on going to heaven... Why not do things on this earth that is going to make your life in the heaven much more better? Because we are going to be judged, we are being judged, based upon what we are doing for God. Why not focus more on that than your life on this earth? It is better to be a poor man or poor woman on this earth and do much for God than to be a successful person on this earth and not have done much of anything for God. We are not going to get the same things in heaven The reason why we are not going to get the same things in heaven because our works are going to be rewarded. We are not saved by works. We are saved when we choose to obey the rules and regulations of the Bible. But our works, our good deeds, the things that we are doing for people and God is going to be judged and we are going to be rewarded based upon that. So how much you read the Bible, how much you pray, how much you are helping others, how much you are helping out the poor, feeding the poor, good deeds. We are going to be rewarded for that, not only on earth, but ultimately in heaven. But 
people are not focusing on that. You say that you are planning to go to heaven. You say that we know that we are going to be in heaven forever after death here. But you are focusing on this temporary world. Well, Kevin, you know, I want to go to college. I want to get good money. Listen. If that is taking most of your time, it is better for you to get a low paying average job where you can focus more on God. If you are doing something that is taking all your time and you have no time for God, even if you are getting paid millions of dollars, it is best for you to let that go. Why have you been placed on this earth? Distractions. Satanic distractions. We are not on this earth for our ambitions. We are not here for that, for the things we want to do in life. Please understand what I am trying to say to you. You have to change your focus. I pray that this makes sense. Don't just hear what I am saying and agree with what I am saying and continue on in the same way that you are living. Yes, Kevin, what you are saying is right, but you don't change and continue on on that same path. Don't do that. You want much from God. You say that you want more of God, but you are not doing what it takes to get that. And I am telling you how to get it. I tried back when I was in sin. I did not know as much as I know now, and I am not saying that I know so much. But I wanted to know what I know now. Since I know what I know now, you don't have to suffer the same way that I have, doing foolish things, wasting time, when you can jump ahead by doing well on something that took me so long to do because I did not have the understanding. Where is your focus? I see people or hear about people working two or three jobs or working jobs where you are working 50, 60 hours a week. Why? Why? Yes, you have a nice car. Yes, you have a nice car or home. Whatever. But you can't transfer those things to heaven you are not going to be rewarded based upon what you have done for yourself that does not pertain to God. It is all vanity. Vanity. All in vain. Matthew 16 and 26. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? 
or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What is the point of gaining so much? <laughs> Placing so much focus in this world, not focusing on God, and going to hell right after. Your life was a waste. Where is your focus? What we should be doing and what I am doing more and more of, and this is why I am doing this video now, is to explain to people how to get to God. I am not doing this, how can I say this? I am not doing this because I don't have anything else to do because I would be doing other things if they were not sins. <laughs> I surely would. But my focus is on God. I think about God all day, every day. I listen to teachings about God as much as possible. I pray. I read the Bible. Not as much as I pray, but you know. I am doing things that pertain to God because if I plan on going to heaven after death and I am going to be judged based upon what I do for God and what I know of God and what I teach about God, so on and so on, etc. So why am I not anchoring my life around the issues of God. Think about that. I want this college degree. I have to work. So, Kevin, all I really have time to is to eat and sleep and take care of my kids. Okay. <laughs> you can do whatever you want to do. Waste your life. <laughs> okay, God bless.